Good morning. This morning we're going to be reading in Psalm 22. So let's read this one together. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by not night, but I find no rest. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. In you our fathers trusted. They trusted and you delivered them. To you they cried and were rescued, and you they trusted and were not put to shame. But I am a worm and not a man, scorned by mankind and despised by the people. All who see me mock me. They make mouths at me, they wag their heads. He trusts in the Lord, let him deliver him. Let him rescue him, for he delights in him. Yet you are he who took me from the womb. You made me trust you at my mother's breasts. On you was I cast from my birth, and from my mother's womb you have been my God. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, and there is none to help. Many bulls encompass me, strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their mouths at me, like a ravening and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax, it is melted within my breast. My strength is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue sticks to my jaws. You lay me in the dust of death, for dogs encompass me. A company of evildoers encircles me. They have pierced my hands and feet. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. But you, O Lord, do not be far off. O you, my help, come quickly to my aid. Deliver my soul from the sword, my precious life from the power of the dog. Save me from the mouth of the lion. You have rescued me from the horns of the wild oxen. I will tell of your name to my brothers. In the midst of the congregation, I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you offspring of Jacob, glorify him and stand in awe of him, all you offspring of Israel. For he has not despised or abhorred the affliction of the afflicted, and he has not hidden his face from him, but has heard when he cried to him. From you comes my praise in the great congregation. My vows I will perform before those who fear him. The afflicted shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him shall praise the Lord. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations shall worship before you. For kingship belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. All the prosperous of the earth eat and worship. Before him shall bow all who go down to the dust, even the one who could not keep himself alive. Posterity shall serve him. It shall be told of the Lord to the coming generation. They shall come and proclaim his righteousness to a people yet unborn, that he has done it. Uh, this psalm famously uh, is quoted by Jesus when he's on the cross. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And there's a lot of allusions to uh, Jesus' circumstances there on the cross. Um, but we know the end of that story and, and the plan of God and the hope of God in that. The other thing I think is interesting in this psalm is we see uh, this idea of, of generations of faith. Right, the the psalmist says, um, you know, the, our fathers trusted in you. Um, they cried out, and God rescued them. And then he goes through his own personal difficulties, um, and and calls himself a worm, and and he's um, just not in a good place. And I think we've all been there. But by the end of the psalm, um, he is saying that everyone will praise God, right, and that they'll proclaim the work of God. For generations to come and so we see this kind of past present and future uh, in the psalm and realizing that um, from our standpoint knowing the story of the cross and knowing um, just God's overarching plan for uh, the entirety of the world that we can rest in uh, the secure hand of God working in our lives so uh, let us know in the comments just uh, how you've seen the, the work of God uh, in the past and how he's working now and, and even just how knowing what uh, having the security of God's holding on to your future as it tells us in First Peter uh, just helps you to face whatever you're facing today and we'll look forward to seeing you again in the morning.